Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Ace and I got more Guild Wars 2 content here for you. I'll be showing you guys specifically the very first jumping puzzle I ever did that was flawless as well. So prepare to be astonished or laugh hysterically. I don't know. Hysterically? That's probably the word I'm looking for. Anyway, this jumping puzzle can be found in the metrical province level 1 to 15 Azura starting area. And if you take the Azura Gate, you will end up in Sorendra, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Which then forces you to walk quite a bit, all the way up to the Quat Quatel Waypoint. Which, funny enough, is actually just below the jumping puzzle. If I get the angle right, there you go, that's the waypoint. You take the waypoint, or find the waypoint, depending uh, if you have it or not. And then you just walk along the mountain, and there's a little cave entrance right there at my uh, mouse cursor. It's hidden, or I suppose indicated in this case, by roots and leaves. You enter there, you have a little staircase slash jumping puzzle that you have to do to get to the exit of the cave right here. Which then allows you to jump up to the jumping puzzle. Now this jumping puzzle has been said to be very annoying. And I have to disagree. A, lo a lot of people have been saying in the beta that they, that they were stuck here for hours. I did it flawless in one run and it took me about 20 minutes and I was very very careful so i could probably do it in 15 ish if i hurry it up anyway i'm also trying to explain a few things right now as well so let's hopefully um see if everything goes all right there are a few things you need to know about this jumping puzzle the first thing is is to progress to the next level of this jumping puzzle you need to be attuned so to be able to go through that gate right there which allows you to go to the next level you have to go and get your attunement. A normal person would keep jumping, but a person that knows what he's doing with in this jumping puzzle knows he has to go down here first. Now the first part is very risky, so be extra careful with that, because you almost fall off there. But the second rock right there, you can just jump on. You don't have to jump, you can just press forward, press W in this case, and just always walk on top of that. You take some falling damage, but not too much of an issue, and you just jump. And apparently we don't have to fight, so we'll take that for granted. Get the attuner device, interact with it, you get a buff that lasts for 20 minutes, and then you go through the gate right here. Then you have to actually do the jumping puzzle actually itself, because you do spawn behind the tricky part of the jumping puzzle. Not in front of it, well in front of it, but you'll never spawn after the tricky part basically. You always have to do the tricky part, which kind of makes sense. It would be silly if it didn't. So as you can see right there, a lot of air bursts, and you can already guess what they will do if you get hit by them. And as a Norn, you are fairly big, so you have to be extra careful to not mess this up. So you just want to wait, then walk a little bit further than you would expect, and then just be careful. Like, one of the philosophies in this jumping puzzle you have to take to heart is, better be safe than sorry, trust me. You're better off spending five more minutes waiting than getting pushed back and pushed off and have to restart the entire puzzle. Alright, let's see. Also, a little trick right on this one. If you don't have a swiftness boost or boon, that just align yourself correctly with the root and just wait for it. The moment the air stops blowing, directly make a run for it. And as long as you keep yourself aligned with the root itself, you should be okay. You should be able to make it in one go. Also, this one is fairly annoying. It's recommended to have swiftness with you uh, on multiple occasions, especially as a Norn. So keep that in mind. Just align yourself with the root and just make a run for it. Sometimes you have to fight there, but since we have swiftness on, we can ignore the bat. And this is actually one of the reasons why it's highly recommended, highly recommended to be level 13 or higher. Because all the mobs you have to fight here are level 13. There are some veteran mobs as well. And the boss at the end is also level 13. There is in fact a boss at the end. But we have done the jumping puzzle. We have it tuned ourselves so we can go through the gate. Now this is where a lot of people had some issues with if they actually got to this point and not rage quit halfway. Uh, we are There's four parts to the jumping puzzle. We have finished the first part. The fourth part is the boss and this is the second part. As you can see, there's a pattern to it. There's a clear pattern to it. And if you look at it, it looks fairly complicated. But what I do is I wait for the strike that hits all the stones. That's right there. Because the strike that hits all the stones, there's a small break behind that. And the trick is to not hesitate. If you hesitate in this jump, you die. It's game over. Uh, a guardian can take a hit because he has this, uh, this passive shield, which can block one attack. 
But if you anything beyond that, you're you're done. You're done for. So just look very careful to the electricity, the thunder strikes, and wait for this strike where it hits every single one. As you can see, there's a small break, and the moment the thunder strike hits every single one of them, that's when you directly want to jump. Do not hesitate. So we're gonna see if we can do it. There we go. Because if you hesitate, you get hit by the lightning, you take a lot of damage, and you get slowed. And there you go. I did not lose my blocks. I didn't get hit by anything. But almost. That, that's how close you have to cut it. Or that's how close you are going to have to cut it. So swiftness may come in handy. And normally you would continue. But once again you have to attune yourself. And this is the first part where you also fight a veteran mob. Also the plateaus are very thin or very small here. So be very, very careful with them. Oh god. That almost went wrong. It, it, it felt like it almost went wrong. Alright. And also, you don't have a lot of space to kite mobs around sometimes. So you definitely want to refrain yourself from using abilities like charge and stuff. And preferably also try to avoid dodges, unless it's really necessary. But it's a veteran mob, my level, so this is a, a very good example why you need to be very careful. I'm going to heal myself because I'm taking a little bit too much damage. To why friends with you would be nice, or being higher level, or, or having better gear, would have been very nice. So we're gonna finish him off. We get our attunement as well. He did he drop something? A tiger eye pebble? Why not? Very nice of him. So we are attuned now. So let's go and get to the uh, annoying part of this part of the jumping puzzle as well. Besides the uh, pattern, there's another pattern you have to remember, but it's a little bit of a shorter one. So I guess uh, a smaller chance of. Uh, smaller margin or a smaller chance of messing up I should say that's the uh, the sentence I'm looking for but definitely a more frustrating one because you are fairly close to the end of course anyway another air burst that can blow you off so you want to wait for it and you directly want to jump to the next one because sometimes it clips if you are standing on the next one so you definitely want to directly jump to the safe one anyway wait for the long burst and then jump and there you go. This is a safe spot, so you can just stand here and look let, look at the lightning for a bit. As you can see, it strikes all three, break, two, one. So we want to we want to wait until it strikes all three. If we don't get interrupted by cube pop-ups. I'm in an overflow, so that explains it. So the next full... Okay, that's two. Now we go. Do not hesitate. Hesitation means death. And there you go. That's all it is to it. We're still tuned. We have fixed the uh, the jumper puzzle. And here we go. And this is a very fun one. This is where patience is a virtue. If you can be very patient, then this is a very, very easy jumping puzzle. And the reason is fairly simple. As you can see, a lot of ice particles. So we're just going to jump one. We're going to jump two because we have enough time for that. But as you can see, you get chilled. Chilled reduces your speed by 66%. Also, jumping speed, which means you cannot jump as fast. So the safe way to do it, if you want to be 100% sure, is to jump one at a time and just wait until your chill buff is over, or debuff is over, and then jump one, or jump two. But also on this part, you can still get chilled. So even though the particle doesn't hit you, you can still get chilled, so be very careful with that. And you just jump. Also there's a small air burst here. Be careful with that because it can blow you off directly. It's a long burst only, so just wait until it passes directly, go for it. And... This is a very sneaky way of also getting to the attuner. Because normally... Let's see if we can ignore that mob right there. Oh, he almost got us. Because a normal one... You know, you would normally just continue and go to the gate right there. If you uh, were looking for the attunement. Because maybe there wasn't the left. But if you look back, you can already see there's more plateaus here. And also a veteran mob. So be very careful with that. It's a veteran ice mob, so and they, they tend to hurt if you don't watch out. And due to the very small ground that you have to work with, you can't really easily charge, dodge, wall away, jump away, etc. Also a small bed, I believe. There we go. So this is not the, the veteran mob you have to fight yet, clearly, because this is not a veteran mob. This is just a mob to scare the living shit out of you. Oh, we do get a nice weapon, so that's always fairly uh, appreciated. Salvage all the things. Here we go. Oh, and also the veteran already starts attacking you before you are there. So hesitation may end up killing you once again. Also, this mob can push you back. Oh, so always make sure 
that you are in a safe position. What I tend to do is I fight them with my back towards the, the portal, basically. I also attune myself. So you can fight him, but if you just attune yourself, you should be able to go through him as well. There you go. So you don't even have to fight him. I actually fought him the first time through. But you don't actually have to do so. Once again, this is the last part and the most easiest part as well. Like, there are two ways of doing this jump. You can fight him, or you can buff yourself. Wait until that one is over. Actually jump already to this part and then make another jump. We don't want to get in his range because otherwise we have to take damage. And I'm going to take it slow right now because chill is annoying and it's better to be safe than sorry. So there you go. Going to make another two jumps. Going to take a break. I'm chilled. I'm chill. I'm cool. I'm, I'm ice cold if you like. And then you just make the second jump. And this is the third part, and this is there's no traps here to my knowledge, so you can just directly jump over it, forward and get to the final part, which is the boss. Now, if you are an Azura, this part of the jumping puzzle is fairly simple. Um, you can't move when you get to the gate as well. I'm not entirely sure why that is, but it takes a, it takes a few seconds. But if you are a Norn, this first part is fairly hard to jump. Don't ask me why. So what I tend to do is I wait for my... My swiftness boost, if you have a staff, I believe you can also do it, but I don't have a staff equipped. I have my um, sword and board as my secondary. So what I do is I save yourself, I have my swiftness boof. Swiftness boof, boof, really, yes, I, I'm, I'm boofing. And then just do the jump. As you can see, they are, v they are very small, so I, there's a very, very high chance to jump wrong and you jump off. But then again, if you are in Azura, which this area is uh, belonging to, of course, to that brace, you can do it fairly simple, you don't have to worry too much. But if you are a very big person like myself, like a Norn, I'm the smallest Norn possible, I'm the miniature version of a Norn, basically, you are going to have issue. And that is the boss. It's a level 3 veteran, to my knowledge. So we're gonna just take him on. There's enough space to fight him, so... He, he does have the ability to do quite a bit amount of damage, so be very careful with that. And as you can see, I believe he's a Mesmer with, with his staff. So let's see if we can actually uh, blow everything we got at him. Nope. Right. And this is basically the boss fight. He doesn't apparently do too much damage to me, so I'm okay with that. But he does take quite a big, of, uh, quite a big amount of punishment compared to the other mobs. So you want to be ready for that. Let's buff myself. Let's heal myself just a little bit, just to be safe. He does apply poison as well, which sticks quite hard. As you can see, it's a level 13 boss, so you definitely want to be around his level to be able to take him on on your own. Or have friends with you that can take him uh, on with you. Cleanse. Burge, burge. There you go. Burn a life. Burning bolts to finish him off. Aww. There you go. Getting some very nice items here. Especially for my level. Let's see if, if they are actually are better. Wow, they are actually better? I am impressed. And I'm okay with that. I'm actually not going to equip my uh, my helm. I don't like helms. I also have shoulders, by the way. But I don't like them. They're too big. And this is the end of the, the jumping puzzle. It would be a shame to you know, wrongly jump here. To jump off right there. I almost did that. Anyway, as you can see, the chest is already open for me because I just did the jumping puzzle unless my, uh, until my audio got corrupted or just did not record for some reason. So, anyway, that's how you do this puzzle. Just keep in mind, patience is a virtue. Take your time to recognize the patterns and the timing. And, of course, be sure that you are high enough level or otherwise take some friends with you. And you go to the gate right here and you come out a better, stronger, better jumping, jumping person. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Make sure to stay subscribed if you are for more Guild Wars 2 content. Or make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet for more Guild Wars 2 content. Or otherwise, of course, other gaming content that I tend to put out. And also let me know what you think about this jumping puzzle. Would you like to see more jumping puzzles? And what would you like to see in Guild Wars in general? And I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.